And today we'll be reviewing a Chinese um, historical drama known as The Blue Whisper. and actresses like um, Rain Jolin. If you are conversant with Chinese dramas, you will know these are um, highly rated and brilliant actors and actresses. And then we have Dil Raba Dil Murat. Okay, these are the first, these are the men, men lead, the um, men, female lead. The Blue Whisper is an amazing movie is an amazing drama series the part one has 22 episodes part two has 20 episodes i have i hope i have them have, have it right and um it comes it's a very interesting movie first of all rain jillian was um a male mermaid and then uh, you have dear river who was in she wasn't in prison but you know she was um you know this is like a magical this drama is, um, as much as it is an historical movie, it's set in a universe where they use magic and, you know, mystical creatures and all of that. So, um, Rain Lan is um, a, a water mermaid, male maid, <laughs> and he is the heir to the throne or something, you know, is this is the, is the heir to the throne. And he was captured. Where the river is, they have um, powers that they use in fighting evil to an extent. The river belongs to um, a section, you know, in the spiritual realm in the universe, or in that universe where you know spiritual things happen where she is being uh, imprisoned more like she's not allowed to go out to explore the world and her one wish is to go out to explore the world now she that the reign of the king and the queen there is not good as they are all used or utilized or imprisoned in this thing that makes them you know when they want to protest or when they want to step out of um that you know allowed cocoon they break out in cold that will freeze them up and they can't do anything about it so the head of that particular clan kept on um he has his son as well so he kept on running all kinds of experiments on her as it seemed that she was the only one who could withstand you know all kinds of experiment to break out of that course that the queen you know the wicked queen had placed on them but at that time dear Robert did not know that um you know it was in a bit to save them all she thought the the head of her clan was just out to get her meanwhile the son of the head of the clan generally loved her and cared about her but they were always fighting and the king the head of the clan paired them against each other so that they can be strong but at that time it was uh, misinterpreted and then you have Ren Jionlen who is a mermaid and um, the queen wanted the pearls of the mermaid and so the only way she could get the mermaid to be subservient to her the mermaid who is the heir to the throne of the sea god, you know, the <laughs> she wanted the mummy to be, to uh, you know, to be subservient to her, to kneel to her, to worship her, to serve her, and the, you know, the heir to the throne is saying that no, he can't do it, and then they had to appoint the rapper who said she would, she would um, convince him 
she would tame him into um, doing whatever it is that the queen said she wanted. With Dilaba, if Dilaba achieves that, that means you know she gets to be promoted. But uh, when Dilaba meets Rangelin in the cave where he, he had been imprisoned, she she feels sorry for him, and then they become friends. The, it, it contains a lot of. Um, a lot of intrigue, a lot of suspense. You know, the storytelling is unending. The storytelling is moving, it's touching, it's romantic. There's a lot of betrayal as well. Um, you know, the plot, the twists, the turns, you know, and so many things ensued. It, it, it's a movie, it's a drama that takes you and you are not... Um, I'm not bored when you're watching it. As a matter of fact, I saw the Blue Whisper a couple of times, you know, just to be sure that I wasn't missing anything. And it really hurt me when um, the drama came to an end. It took me a while to get past it. As a matter of fact, I had to use Love Like a Galaxy to console myself. It is an amazing watch. It is an amazing watch. It is a story like none other with a different concept. There are a lot of mystical, historical dramas out there you know, um, Chinese historical dramas out there that you can pick from. And, um, but none, you know, very few of them are memorable as much as the Blue Whisper is. As a matter of fact, it's something that I would see even 10 years from now. It's, you know, in the um, category of um, internal love, um, these three loves, three lives you know it is an unending story that you know makes you think because the, the brilliance of the actor the men men lead ranger len and deal um uh, deal rebel was amazing i'm surprised though this year it seemed um or last year later part of last year it seemed dear about went to rest because i didn't see anything much from her again because she had been acting and acting and acting and acting i'm sure she went off for a while but be that as it may it, it's an amazing watch it is a story you know that transcends time a story that you wouldn't want to miss and one that is an unforgettable epic historical Drama. I would encourage you to see it if you haven't. It's everywhere now. You can find it on YouTube. You can find it on Viki. You can find it, you know, anywhere that is your choice. You can see it. And when you have, or if you have, do leave a comment down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond. Um, it's a wonderful drama, and um, it has suspense. It has a lot of action. It has intrigue. It has. Of course, romance, and it is wonderful to see. I forgot to rate it. I'll be rating it a 9 over 10. Um, I would have given it a 10 over 10, but at some point, um, you know, I don't know. I think in the cinematography, in terms of the cinematography, I um, noticed that some of the scenery was too unreal, you know, especially um, when they were up north and um, the snow and all of that you know trying to it, it, there was some it was too it was too unreal I, I i don't think the picture quality or the green screen that was used or whatever the editing you know it wasn't too good it wasn't good at all at all so i didn't like it but um all in all it was a good watch and that's why i'm giving it a 9 over 10 instead of a 10 over 10. thank you so much for doing this with me thank you so much for doing this with me up there you'll see my korean movie review my chinese movie review my nigerian movie review and then again my movie review if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit on the subscribe button don't forget to turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come your way thank you for doing this with me thank you once again thank you